So one of the things that I had wanted to do for a while now, uh, and that's why I bought these panels, was since I do a lot of the Dremel work and the sanding with the jewelry boxes, it would be really nice if uh, I had a little better setup to do uh, the dust collection. Uh, so I got one pack of these downdraft panels, and the diagram, or I should say the picture on the box, is what it would look like if you bought two packs of panels, meaning there are four pieces, there are four pieces going across this way uh, in their box. That's a much bigger box. Uh, I don't have room for that. However, I do have room for this because this is the same spot in the corner that I do all the work anyway. Uh, so what I did is I had some extra countertop. Uh, actually, this is one of the pieces from when we read when we put in our sink in the kitchen. Uh, this was this there was a large center piece, so I cut that out. So that's what the bottom piece of this is, and then the two uh, pieces that were left were cut out of the remainder. And then these pieces are uh, particle board that I got from when the the neighbor was getting rid of a crib. So uh, this is a Rockler Quick Connect. And you can see inside that there is a slant. That's using that hardboard, uh, like is the, in the back of kitchen cabinets. Uh, I put some door frame, uh, edging, ceiling, whatever, uh, in behind here. And this is actually bolted on versus screwed so I could get it to suck in better. But then my dust collection just comes on and it will connect like that. I'm not going to turn it on because then you won't be able to hear. But then this is where the pieces go. So if we look in here, and yes, I realize it's blue tape, but that's okay. Um, so you can see that this is all slanted down to the center, and I'm hoping that will work fine. Uh, that's what the, the production plans call for, is a much wider slant and then a flat area and then a slant on the other side. So this is a much narrower slant uh, in mine, and I think it's going to work just fine. Uh, I put the sides together uh, and holding it to the base with uh, pocket screws. You can see one of them right there, sort of. Uh, and I cut that out with a jigsaw. And again, this is just pieces of hardboard from the back of old kitchen cabinets when we redid our kitchen. Uh, and this is actually a piece of trim board from again the kitchen cabinet replacement and then all I did was I took my bandsaw cut a slot on each end and on in the middle and then this assuming I can get this in there with one hand that just slides down in the other piece slides down in it fits in the slots it's basically the same height as the edging, and I'm probably going to paint this edge uh, at some point uh, so it doesn't get messed up. But this this has been sitting in the garage for 13 years, and it's fine. So the ambient moisture aren't isn't going to cause a problem. Uh, I know that part. And then because this isn't this is heavy, but not that heavy. I didn't want it to slide all over the place when I'm pushing and sanding. I mean, it's enough that I'm probably going to have to. You hear the click, this moves slightly, so I'm probably, as it is, going to have to put something in here to keep it from sliding. But I didn't want to have it slide all over the place, so since I had a bench vise right here already, I just got a set of hinges and a piece of extra piece of 2 before, and that holds the whole thing. Now the other benefit of this is, let's see if I can get this out. Uh, because of this gap, I should be able to, this is basically a little over three quarter inch gap. So the plan is to put a piece of three quarter inch um, plywood up on the wall into one of the wall studs. And then I can drill holes in here to put probably quarter inch rod or three eighths inch rod coming out with maybe a little up, slanted up. Um, and then I can just take this and hang it up on the wall. Now granted, I will have to figure out something for these so these don't just fall whenever I hang it up. 
but uh, I might be able to do something with like bungee cords. Uh, so have like screw screw eyes on both sides and then run little bungee cords across. So when I hang it up, I can just have this all in place and then I can take it back down. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to work good. Uh, again, considering I have a much smaller space than what they had planned for the official box, I had to make do, but it worked just fine. Um, I don't know that anyone would be interested in plans for this, because I doubt anyone would want to milk one like this, but if you do, uh, leave messages in the comments and I will come up with a diagram for it. Uh, it's fairly basic. You just have three quarter inch on the bottom for the sizing. Uh, you can see here it's basically sized for the two panels. So if you put the two panels together and assume that the, the, the three quarter inch thickness of this, you can pretty much figure out the sizing. Um, let me see if I do have... Somewhere here, I do have one of these, if I can get it out. So overall, just for some quick measurements, uh, let's see here, it's like 15 and just under 15 and a quarter, so that's 1, 2, 3, 15 and 3 sixteenths in that direction, and... about 18 and 5 sixteenths maybe in that direction and high let's see if I get this right uh, where's the measuring tape there's measuring tape it's about eight and a half inches high and I just centered that on the side uh, I did put the bottom of the quick connector right along just slightly above this edge and I just drilled into the solid areas uh, and then uh, what I did is to hollow it out you can see uh, the hole I just took a magic marker held it where I wanted it uh, drew the area uh, for the outline of the edge drilled a couple holes uh, used a uh, skill saw I think, no, jigsaw, jigsaw. I used a jigsaw for that. And again, I think it's gonna work just fine. Whoops. <laughs> I pushed it and you can see how much it moved. So that is why this is gonna be a lifesaver. Um, but yeah, that way it will hold super solid. Um, again, the only thing I'm gonna have to probably do is get something to stick down in this edge to keep it from rattling quite so much. But yeah, I think it's gonna work fairly well and of course it's in the exact same corner that I do all the work so um, that's the one clear spot on the bench area and yep should be good uh, the good news is this was the last well one of the last things I was working on to try and get ready to finish up the jewelry boxes which are in those boxes under paper to keep them from getting messed up so uh, yep that should be good